hello everyone welcome again in this software testing tutorial we are going to cover another very important concept of difference between smoke testing and sanity testing now this is also very important interview question and you need to understand the differences between smoke testing and sanity testing and what exactly these terms mean when you are working in any, in any software testing project so if we talk about smoke test or sanity test both of them relate to the software builds now before we get into the details of understanding these let's first understand what are software builds so software build is a package basically so say for example whenever you develop any software uh, you choose any programming language that that you will use to make an application right so for example if i take an e-commerce website so e-commerce website can be built with any programming language right or any technology and when you utilize the technology the programming language you write the code to implement the functionality so the ui the database etc so when you package all of the work that you have done as a development team and that package gets deployed into the test environment with all the configuration that single package which can have thousands and thousands of uh, you know classes within it it methods within it uh, from the programming language that you have chosen uh, then that package is known as a build okay now if i talk about you know mobile application so you you see the application icon on the bill on your you know mobile phones if for example android and ios when you install any application you are simply downloading from downloading it from the app store and then installing it but in the background when the uh, the companies uh, build these apps they they choose a particular programming language and they write the code to implement all the functionalities that you see on that particular uh, app that you install so that package whether it's you know like your mobile app or the actual application that you see or any standalone software say for example microsoft word on your um, you know windows machine all these softwares or application or mobile apps are the builds in a say in in you know software testing concept or any any you know software development concept now sanity and smoke testing both of them are related to build right so when we say smoke testing the word smoke is very important to understand so basically smoke testing came from the uh, smoke testing done by the plumbers uh, and uh, usually the plumbers used to do smoke test whenever they used to find or they wanted to find any leakage into the pipes right so what they did is they physically say for example this is the pipe and they wanted to find the leaks so if there are you know if, if they'll seal it basically from one side or whether whether it's sealed and then from one side they'll put you know like smoke within it and if there is you know like any smoke coming out of this particular pipe then they will recognize that yes there is a leakage within the pipe right so this is how plumbers used to do smoke testing and similarly in the hardware concept or you know the circuit board as well this smoke testing um, term was used so as soon as you power on the circuit board or the, any appliances if smoke comes out in the from the circuit board then that is you know end of your test which ensures that you do not need to perform any more test on that circuit board right so these concept came from the smoke test concept came from the plumbing plumbing and the circuit board testing and if we talk about the software this is directly correlated in the software sense as well now as plumbers used to uh, you know find the leakage into the pipe using the smoke test now if we talk about the software so in the software what smoke testing does is now when you are developing a software you will be basically your development team will be writing the code so they'll be you know working on different modules and then those modules you know so for example if i talk about e-commerce so login um register say i'm just taking hypothetical you know modules here uh, so these will be some of the modules that they'll, they'll be building so uh, a cart checkout right and the whole team will be working 
uh, you know on these modules and then integrating together and making it as one package right so uh, I'll say payment okay so say for example hypothetically your application has these many functionalities so the team will be building all these modules and they will be packaging it together and once the package is available so this is this will be called as build okay now if we talk about smoke testing um, this is in the very initial phases of you know the the project when the initial development happens and the project or the build is not stable so what smoke testing does is you get this package or build right so for example you got build one okay and with the smoke testing and software testing as part of the smoke testing what you do is you basically run the key functionalities or run the test cases that are related to the key functionality say for example whether login is happening or not whether registration is happening or not right uh, cart is you know um, items are getting added into the cart or not checkout payment so very key very you know like a shallow approach of testing so you just pick the critical test cases of the application and you execute those and those that type of testing is known as smoke testing in software testing now smoke testing because this is related to build so when the build is being installed developers also do a bit of smoke testing because they will be you know ensuring that the build is getting deployed and installed successfully on the test machine before the testing team can actually start working on the particular you know smoke test cases right or smoke testing so smoke testing is shallow approach and can be done by developers and testing team as well because uh, developers will ensure that the, the build is successfully installed and testing team will ensure that the key functionalities of the application are working as expected right and this is most of the time in the initial development phases when the build is relatively unstable okay so you do the smoke testing to ensure that key functionalities are working as expected before you get into the detailed testing right so detailed testing and why this is required because you want to ensure that if the critical functionality itself is not working if the build itself is not getting deployed there is no point of starting the detailed testing of that particular build so that is the whole point of smoke testing right now coming back to the sanity testing okay so smoke testing was during the initial phases if we talk about sanity testing so sanity test testing uh, is again related to the build software builds so smoke testing is in the, in the initial phases of the build when the build are, are relatively unstable and sanity testing is when uh, the builds have become stable and you are verifying some of the key functionalities after the defect fix or the new functionality is being added right so for example there is a build one right so during the initial phases you will be mostly doing the smoke test and if the builds get mature and they're stable so say for example you know you raise a couple of defects in build 4 right so you will be you know doing testing in each and every build and you will be raising defect now <clears throat> once you once any test case fails you will be raising defects so for example in build 4 i'll take uh, you know you raised a couple of defects here okay so developers will fix those defects and they'll provide a new build right so they'll provide the build and whatever module you have raised those defects on say for example you have raised the defects four defects in the login module of the application so in build 5 when the new build drop comes in then what you will do is because there is a change in the login module or there is a update in the uh, software code overall package because of the fix in the login module so you might be required to do the regression testing of the existing functionalities that you want to ensure that the existing functionalities is working as expected now before you get into the full regression you do the sanity testing to ensure that the fix that has been done in the module works as expected before you can basically get into the full regression cycle okay so what you do in sanity testing is say for example the fix was in the login module right 
So what I'll do is as a tester, I'll verify all the related details or the test testing basically related to the login module and I'll do the deep testing for the login module because the fix was done in the login module. So I'll do the deep testing to ensure that the login module or the build which has the new code and fix works as expected and this module works as, as expected before I can enter into the full regression, right? So before I can start full regression cycle of this particular build because because of this fix, I need to do the deep testing of the fixed module as well as I need to also ensure that any of the existing features that were working fine in build 4 have not broken because of this fix that has came into build 5, right? So that's why I have to do the regression as well or full regression or selective regression uh, depending on the strategy. But prior to that, in order to save time, you know, I need to do the sanity test and ensure that the module where the fix has gone through is working as expected and the build is working as expected before I can get into the full regression cycle and ensure that everything else is also working as expected. So in a way, both of these smoke and sanity testing are required and done to save the time, right? So before you can get into the full fledged testing, you want to ensure that the build stable, build is stable, right? So you do the smoke testing, which is mostly in the initial phases of the software development. Now, when the build becomes stable, then you do the sanity testing if there is any new fix or a new defect fix or new functionality that comes in. So you do a sanity check of the defect fix module or the, or the new module that came in before you get into the detailed regression or the full regression cycle, right? So both of them are done to ensure that the build is stable and we can progress further or everyone in the test team can progress further with the detailed testing of the build. All right. So that is all about, you know, the smoke test and sanity test and um, hope this will help you to understand and explain it in any of the software testing interviews and crack the interviews with these. So that's all for this tutorial. Hope it was helpful. Please do share and subscribe and thank you very much for watching.